Hello, I'm there's the cartographer, and this is the 99th video of my Fallout 76 surveil series. Here we're at the makeshift vault, taking a look at the map. They are right here, just to the east of Cobbleton Farm, to the northwest of Grafton. Uh, this is a new site that has come out with the uh, Steel Dawn quests. Uh, taking a look here, it looks like they had some of this uh, glowing stuff drain out of this place for some reason. I don't know why it looks like that. Uh, kind of a dismal setting here in the Toxic Valley. Uh, but there are some plants you can find here, specifically bleached dogwoods, and there are also some uh, blood leaf and mutated ferns around here. Also some logs, like you can see right here. Uh, why don't we head on in, though, because uh, what we're looking for is on the inside. All right, now I'm actually going to come through here on two characters. Uh, just to show you the difference here. This character has not been through the Steel Dawn quest line, so you're going to see what this place looks like uh, without any of that uh, going on. So there are potentially Raiders of the Crater here, uh, Brother to Steel Protectrons, or if you haven't done any of that quest, nobody. There's nothing here if you haven't done any of the Steel Dawn quest line. Uh, looking around though, you're going to find the same junk though. Uh, so heading down here, you got this uh, main little area down here. An old uh, decontamination shower, barrels of water, uh, some hydroponics growing areas. Actually, I don't, I don't know if that's actually meant to be hydroponics or if it's just like a nursery. Anyway, though, uh, coming back through here, some barriers, an American flag. This place is pretty interesting. It was uh, effectively built by some uh, vault tech employees that knew they weren't getting spots in vaults, so they were going to build their own vault. Uh, unfortunately, it did not really work out well for them, as we'll see pretty soon. This is, by the way, my favorite bit of junk right here, this industrial cleaner, because it's so big. I mean, this is like as big as you are, and you're carrying this thing around on your back. And how much does this thing weigh? Let's take a look. Oh, it only weighs a pound and a quarter. Now, keep in mind, I do have uh, perks that reduce the weight of junk, but it's still funny to me. Anyway, uh, we got like a little microfiche reading machine right there. Jukebox. Come around up here. Weapons workbench. Whole bunch of just appliances and junk and crates and you got a radio over here and we have the uh, first note right here unessential got a letter from vault tech informing us they couldn't secure any spots for us in any of the vaults they called this unessential unessential my ass i helped build those damn vaults who the hell do they think is going to rebuild the world after the bombs hit they won't miss any of these supplies i borrowed what are they going to do fire me all right and let's see, let's take a look. We got a uh, washer dryer, a whole bunch of wine. Well, specifically, really just wine bottles. Uh, there are a little bit, there are a couple bottles of wine there, but uh, anyway. We got a, uh, a television there. Coming back through this blast door, we've got uh, a gas tank right there. By gas, I mean propane. Um, got some more barrels of water, some shelving, locker, uh, oxygen crates. We got a good amount of cement there. And we got another note here on this desk. We got one last trip. Since construction on our own vault is ahead of schedule, we decided to head into Grafton for a final supply run. Saw a bear sniffing around when we got back. Managed to scare it off with a rifle though. I don't think it'll be coming back anytime soon. Things are starting to get bad out there, but we should be finished in a couple weeks. We'll be alright. So that makes me think that they really started construction on this thing maybe after the bombs hit, when they talk about uh, First of all, what are they going to do? Fire me? It was like, what has the world already ended? Uh, along with that, uh, saw a bear sniffing around and also talk, talking about it as a supply run into Grafton. I mean, I guess I would call it a shopping trip rather than a supply run if you're going before the end of the world. Uh, magazine here. Uh, in fact, I found uh, two other magazines here, one of which was a backwoodsman, which these have the best art on them. I mean, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Black market knives to impress your lover. Owls came for me in the night. Get off my lawn. It was like the Alamo with bears. Uh, <laughs> it's just great. He's lighting the dynamite with his cigar. Oh, it's just so great. Um, yeah, I've got another one here. I'll show you real quick. Oh, they're just great. Anyway, uh, we got the uh, ventilation system here. It doesn't look like they were done installing that yet. Uh, we got some of these... Uh, these big uh, containers that potentially would have water in them. All right, so here's the first miner who's been buried alive here as he was expanding this tunnel out. And you have the remains of the two other potential occupants of this place. Maybe there are more, but these are the ones that we can see here. We have a green rag hat right here and a baseball cap and a quantum bear here. So potentially this was uh, this miner's family 
and he wasn't a miner, he was a, a vault builder, but anyway, could have been his family, or maybe just uh, a friend with a kid, or anyway, I don't know. Uh, but let's show you real quick what this place looks like on a character that has completed the the quest here. Alright, so yeah, this is the character that has completed the uh, Steel Dawn quest line. Well, at least as far as it goes at the moment. Uh, and you can see these Brother to Steel crates, they were here in the other character's uh, version of this as well. And uh, those are here because the Brother to Steel did come through and use this place as a weapons depot to store some of those ridiculous Hellstorm, I believe they are, missile launchers. I think this guy's got one. Uh, not on him, apparently. Anyway, though, yeah, that rocket launcher thing is ridiculous. But yeah, if you come down here, whereas the while the other place didn't have anything in it, you can see that they've got these Protectrons here. These uh, Brother to Steel serve. Protectrons. They are here to defend this place against uh, further Protect incursions by the Raiders. Serve. So anyway, I think that'll show you the real difference here between these two places, which again is only the Protectrons that are in here now. Alright though, but I think all we have to do now is show you the loot that I found here. Alright, I think that'll do it for the makeshift vault. This has been the Earth of the Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.